Welcome to the show, Master English TV Olympia, the very first English quiz show that is being broadcasted all around Mongolia, but only on weekends. On the day where you have a nice rest and sit on your soft couches, eating dinner with your family and laughing and stuff, so this is the time to watch those little kids compete fairly using a foreign language, which is English. So on today's program, we have three schools, as usual. The first one is school number 28, with the team captain, Aktjing, and the members are Oyun Tuya and Chotong. So the next school we have, the real taste of wild berries, is the school number 47, with the team captain, Oyun Tukur. The members are Tsotpa and Tangy. And the third team from education team, the third team is school number 58, which is a green team, with the team captain, Emina. Members are Otan Hu and Sarantia. So again, today we have many questions about seas, oceans, landscapes, maths, right? The math questions. I like the math questions. I was not good at math when I was in high school, but I like him. I like asking questions from these students. Okay, so we all know the rules. We'll be starting off with the first team, which is school number 28. All right, are you guys ready? Yes, could you please turn on your mic and respond to my question? <laughs> yes. Okay, so before starting off, I have a question for you. What is your hobby? Yeah, your hobby. My hobby is reading book and listening music and singing a song. Okay, so who's your favorite singer? Um, Beyonce and uh, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. What's your favorite song? <laughs> no, what's my name? <laughs> <laughs> and okay, that's Simon. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have a favorite book? Mm, yes, um, but I don't read often. Oh, all right. Have you heard about a book called Sherlock Holmes? Yes. It's about detective and stuff, yes. right? That's my favorite. Okay, so whatever. Let's get on with the show. I'll be asking more questions from you guys later on. Okay, so you have, you'll have five questions in the first round, each team. And after I ask the question, you got five seconds to answer, right? All right. Let's go. First question. Identify the two oceans that surround the continent of Australia. Is it A, Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean, or B, Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean? Correct answer is B, Pacific Ocean. Yes, sorry, the correct answer is A, Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean. It's all right, it's okay, girls, calm down. You can do it. Next question, here it comes. Name the bodily system that removes waste from the blood and includes the glomeruli, the ureters, and the kidneys. A, respiratory system, or B, excretory system. Correct answer is A. It was B, excretory system. All right. Third question, with what type of creature would one associate scales, gills, and an air bladder? A, mammal, or B, fish? Correct answer is A. I'm sorry, it was B, fish. Okay, so you got five seconds to think, all right? Uh, you got to do it quickly or that sound will go bam at you guys, okay? Fourth question, it's a math one. A trapezoid has a height of 10 centimeters and bases of 11 and 23 centimeters. Find the area of this trapezoid. A, 44 square centimeters, or B, 170 square centimeters. Correct answer is B. Yes, good job. First point for school number 28. Last question. In the word dehydrate, the Greek root hydr stands for which liquid? A, oil, or B, water? Correct answer is B, water. Yeah, it's water, right? Okay, good job, girls. I'm dehydrated. I'm just kidding. I have some Fanta. 
front of me. Okay. The real test of wild berries, school number 47. Okay, I'm expecting a lot from you guys because the other team from your school did a really good job and won the first competition. All right. Okay. So, questions will be asked. And by the way, I have a question from you guys. Your uh, team name is Quiz, right? Turn it on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and can you tell me the meaning of that name, quiz? It's just mysterious. Mysterious? Yeah. Oh, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Mysterious. <laughs> All right, here comes the questions. You got five questions. First one. Stalagmites and stalactites can be found in what kind of natural formation? Is it A, cave or B, waterfall? B, waterfall. I'm sorry, it was cave. Next one. What type of device creates electric current by rotating a magnet within a coil of wire or rotating a coil of wire within a magnetic field? Is it A, battery or B, generator? A, battery. It was generator. Next one. Identify the leader of India who was assassinated in 1948 after leading his country to independence from British rule using non-violent demonstrations and efforts. Is it A. Mahatma Gandhi or B. Nelson Mandela? The correct answer is A. Mahatma Gandhi? It is correct. <laughs> Ten points for you guys. Okay. Good job. Math question. An equilateral triangle has sides lengths that measure x plus 4 meters and 2 minus 2 x meters and a minus 3 x meters. How long is each side of this triangle? A, 10 meters or B, 14 meters? Five seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Last question. In a closed system of gas, as volume increases, what happens to the pressure of the gas? A. It increases or B. It decreases? B. It decreases. Of course, it decreases, right? Good job. Okay. All right. Thank you, school number 47. We're moving up with school number 58. Okay. So your team name is Blue? Yeah. Okay. Why blue? Um, blue is the sky color. Mongolians are, are proud of the blue yeah. sky, right? Mm -hmm. Good name. Okay. You guys ready for the questions? Okay. Here he goes. First one. In times of war, what is another name for a ceasefire? When both sides agree to stop fighting for a time. A, treaty, or B, truce? B. Truce, right? Truce, yep, that is good. Good start. Next one, if a person is using irons, a putter, and a ball, and is being assisted by his caddy, <laughs> what sport is he taking part in? A, golf, or B, rugby? A. Golf, right? Every golf player has a caddy right beside him, carrying his things. Okay, good job. Third question. What type of professional person writes newspaper or magazine articles as a means of earning his living? A, architect or B, journalist? Journalist. Wow, all right. <laughs> that is correct. Man, you guys are going to get it. Okay, fourth question. Convert 2.54 meters into millimeters. A, 254 or B, 2,500. All right, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> okay, so if you answer correctly for the last question, bonus time, right? Okay, here it goes. Which body of water separates the countries of England and France? A, English Channel, or B, Strait of Magellan? A. English Channel, right? Because it's England and France. <laughs> Okay, good job. Wow, good going. All right, so bonus question for 
School number 58. All right. Complete the title of the nickname for Mongolia because of its annual average of 260 days of sunny weather. Land of the black skies. A, clear or B, blue? Excuse me? A. Oh, come on. It was a blue, land of the blue skies, right? Oh, uh, your team name is Blue. I just told you guys that. Mongolians are proud of the blue sky. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Random Spotlight. We're almost finished with round one. And Random Spotlight goes to school number 28. Girls, are you there? Okay. I'll pick a person and that person will answer my question. No getting help from your teammates, okay? You're all on your own. Okay. Okay, random spotlight question time. Are you on to ya? Grab your mic. You are chosen. You are the chosen one for <laughs> the random spotlight question, okay? A book series that is written as a trilogy contains how many volumes? A, three, B, six, C, four. Mm, correct answer is B, 6. 6? I'm sorry, it was A. Trilogy! Trilogy! <laughs> Trilogy, okay, uh, so. I have a question from you again, alright? It's not for getting points, but uh, can you give me a little bit brief introduction about your school? school. Yeah. Uh, my school is school number 28. And our school is very famous about our chemistry and biology because ah. our teachers are so um, experienced. Experience, mm -hmm. And, and um, from other schools, students come from our school because our teachers are very good. Ah, <laughs> that's so and, cool. And, and yeah. I'm going to study chemistry and biology. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. That's so why I'm talking about it. <laughs> how many students does your school have? Um, may, it's maybe 3,000. 3,000? Ooh, that's big, right? How many teachers? Um, 100. 100? Yeah. How many mice? I'm just kidding. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, school number 28, they're very popular with their chemistry and biology, all right? Got 3,000 students. Man, that is a big one. And 100 teachers. And all of their teachers are nice and they're really good at teaching, right? Got good methods of teaching their students. I'm really happy for you that you are satisfied with your school. Thank you very much. Okay, that is the end of round one with the first team having 120 points, second team having 120 points, and wow, school number 58 with 150 points. We will see you after the break. Our show is powered by Ministry of Education, who are giving the grand prize of studying in your favorite university with 100% scholarship for the first year. And also, Fanta, more Fanta, less serious. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back to Master English TV Olympiad. We recently finished round one with the schools 28, school number 47, and school number 58. And now it's time for round two. We'll be starting off with the green team, and the team's name is Blue. Interesting, right? <laughs> okay. So, five questions as usual got five seconds to answer my question, right? You know the rules. Okay. You guys did a good job in the first round. Let's get on with the round two. Identify the Norwegian explorer, son of Eric the Red, who was the first European to explore the North American continent. A. Leif Erikson, B. John Cabot, or C. Ferdinand Magellan. A. A. That is correct, Life Erickson. Good 
Good job. Second question. Unique to this planet are the features known as Vail Mariners and the Volcano Olympus Mons. Name this planet A. Mars, B. Uranus, or C. Neptune. A. <laughs> A. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Mars, right? Uh, if it's okay, please give me a full answer. Thank you very much. Third question. A mammal with an external pouch used to keep its young, such as a kangaroo or opossum, is known by what name? A. Marsupial, B. Reptile, C. Amphibian. C. A. It was. Okay. Next question. Machines that accomplish work using only one movement or action are called compound machines. Is it A, false or B, true? A. False. Yeah, it's false, right? Good job. Last question. Of which ancient empire, home to the Great Pyramids, was Thebes once the capital? C, Egypt. Wow, <laughs> okay. Okay, congratulations. You got four answer uh, questions correctly. I have a question for you. It's you, Emina, who went to the United States of America for a student's exchange program, right? Oh, that's Sarantoya. Huh? Sarantoya went to America. Oh, Sarantoya. Okay, so please hand the mic to Sarantoya. And could you tell me a little bit about your experience in the United States? Sure. Yeah. Um, First, when I was when I was age grade, and I participated in a uh, student published program, and our program is a attended to an emerging youth leaders program. Exactly, it is a USA and Mongolian emerging youth leader, exactly student exchange program. Mm. And uh, we, I, I've chosen in exchange students program. Exactly, we uh, did a exam and we write an essay. Yeah. Oh, you wrote an essay in the United States yeah. at that program. So what did you learn? What was the best thing that you learned? And exactly it is a journalism about oh. a program so that I really, really um, good journalist. Ah, okay. That's awesome. So you want to be a journalist, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, how long have you stayed in the United States of America? Um, approximately two, uh, one month. One month. Yeah, one month. Okay, so I hope you had a really great time. Are you planning to visit America again after graduation? And exactly when I um, chosen, uh, exactly maybe when I will high graduate in the school, my high school. Okay, Next. okay. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. I like your accent and I like the way you talk. You look like a journalist. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Team 3. Let's move on to school number 47. Okay. Mysterious girls and boys, are you guys ready for round two? Yeah, all righty, let's go. First question. Often found in two to three story shopping centers, these moving stairs are attached to a belt that continuously circulates. By what name are these moving stairs known? A, escalator. B, Segway, or C, Elevator? Yeah, Escalators, right? Okay. Second question. Identify the Japanese art form that creates three-dimensional objects out of two-dimensional paper. A, Kalage, or B, Origami, C, Sculpture. B, Origami. Yes, that is correct. Okay, third question. Give the name of the Asian lake known as the largest freshwater lake in the world. A, Lake Baikal, or B, Lake Lucern, or C, Lake Louis. A. Lake Baikal, right? Okay. True or false question. Rats, beavers, and porcupines all belong to the order of mammals called rodentia, or rodents. Is it A, false, or B, true? B, true. Yes, they're rodents, right? Always biting on stuff. I like those little guys. Okay, last question. In the words biology, biography, and biosphere, what is the meaning of the prefix 
biome. A life or the animal C trees. A life. Congratulations! Okay, time for a clean sweep for school number 47. You guys are back on with the show. Man, I like that. Okay. Bonus question for school number 47. Here he goes. With which dance genre would you associate the terms bar, ply, arabesque, and tutu? A. Polka, B. Ballet, C. Ballroom. B. Ballet. Yes, ballet. Good job, man. Okay. Looks like they're rushing in for the round two. Okay. Now it's time for school number 28. Right? Okay, have you guys opened your fantas? Give the scientific name for either of two flat triangular bones located behind the shoulders and commonly called the shoulder blade. Is it A, tibia, B, scapula, or C, femur? Correct answer is B. Yes, that is correct. Good job. Second question, identify the noun for a document used in voting that displays all of the candidates' names. A. Contract, B. Will, or C. Ballot. Correct answer is A. Not a contract, not will, it's ballot. Okay, it's alright. Third question, what military expeditions by Christians in the 11th, 12th, and 13th centuries to recover holy lands from invaders have also been called the holy wars. A. Rampages, or B. Crusade, or C. Caravans. Correct answer is C. Caravans. Crusades is worse. Okay. True or false question, it's okay. <laughs> Never mind my funny look. An atom is composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Is it A, false, or B, true? B. True. true. Good job. Last question for school number 28. Thought to be written by Homer, which long poem relates the adventures of the Trojan War? A, is it the Iliad, B, Beowulf, or C, Great Expectations? Correct answer is C. <clears throat> it was the Iliad. Thank you very much, school number 28. I would like to say you guys are doing a pretty good job. You got still, still got many chances to go, right? 60 seconds question time. Who knows who will win the competition because 60 seconds question time changes everything. It's so weird. You got to be fast and you got to think fast, okay? All right. We're almost at the end of round two, but we have to finish up with school number 47 with the random spotlight question time. I'll pick a person. Softball. Alrighty. Man, you're alone this time. <laughs> no one's going to help you out, but it's okay. I think you'll answer my question. Okay. In the words, bicycle bilateral and biennial. What is the meaning of the prefix by? A1 or B5, C2? One? <laughs> okay, the correct answer was C2. Bicycle, it's, it's always talking about that two stuff, right? Okay, bicycle has two wheels. Okay, calm down, ladies and gentlemen. Still got more chances. We just finished round two. Our show is powered by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back to the show, Master English TV Olympian. Now it's time for 60 seconds question time. We still have our three teams waiting for us to get their points or maybe to get their points reduced. <laughs> okay. So if they answer the question in incorrectly, then 10 points will be deducted. And if it's answered correctly, 10 points will be added, right? So 
If you know the answer 100%, if you're like very sure, then you got to press the button. If you're not sure, man, that's going to be dangerous for you guys, okay? So here it goes. The topic for the 60 seconds question time. So it's a computer terminology, okay? Directions. Identify the following computer terms from the descriptions provided. You will be given the first letter of the answer. Okay, I'll say a letter. I'm going to give a description. I'm going to say the word will start with a letter uh, Z or B or something like that. And you're going to say a word that starts with that letter. Right? Clear? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's start. First question, program that infects a computer and makes it malfunction. It starts with B. Virus. Virus, that is correct. Next question. Set of instructions for solving a problem. A. Okay, fantasy. Antivirus. Uh, algorithm, that was. I'm sorry. Next one. To go from page to page on the web by using different links. S. Shit. Surf. Surf. To go to different pages. Okay, guys. Extensive network of information within the internet. W. You know this. Web. Correct answer. World Wide Web it was, okay? Name of a small insect that refers to an error in a software program. B. Buck. That is correct, and we are finished with the 60 seconds question time. I mean, this is rough. I, I hate this because I don't like when our teams are losing points during this time, but so far, doing a great job taking this moment. Okay, right now we're about to start round three with the three teams. Round three will be starting with school number 47. Okay, round three it is. Before starting uh, round three, I would like to ask a question from this team. Okay, so uh, could you guys please introduce yourselves and maybe you can tell us what is your hobby and what is your dream? Right? Maybe what are you going to do after your graduation from this high school? Right? Okay. One by one would be a good idea. Right? So whoever would like to start. Softball? Okay, give the microphone to softball. <laughs> because you guys are not getting... <laughs> like you, you. Okay, softball. My name is Softball and I'm 17 years old. And uh, I like uh, playing uh, computer and... Uh, soccer game. Okay. Soccer game? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like to you. Know, I like to become a econo economist. Oh, economist. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Uh, just a second, Zospa. Do you have a nickname? Uh, my friends call me uh, Zopo. Ah, Zopo. Okay, Zopo. Thank you very much, Zopo. Let's move on to. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. Um, my it. name is Ayn Tlur, and I'm 17 years old. Mm -hmm. I go to 47 school. Uh, my hobby is playing uh, sports and running and stuff. Oh, play <laughs> sports? Oh, you like running? Yeah. Do you like running in the morning? Yeah. Oh wow. Do you go to gym or do something? Uh. Gym? No. Do you do some weightlifting? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm just okay. Uh, do you have any favorite books or favorite movies? Not really. <laughs> Not really. You you just like sports, man. Yeah. You love basketball. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Kangirtan. My name is Kangirtan. Yes, I know. Uh, I'm 18 years old. Oh, 18. Yeah, yeah. 18. Oh, big daddy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my hobby is I'm airsofter. Airsoft, do you know yourself? Airsoft? Uh, yeah. 
Airsoft гэдэг нь байланы зэвсгийн хулбараар хуван зөрүүлсэн маш хэлдэг тулааны спорт юм. Oh, okay, man. Yeah. I'm so out of this world. <laughs> Airsoft I shooting. Okay. Yeah. Military music game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't like basketball, soccer or anything. I don't like. Really? Yeah. Why? Cuz you don't like chasing yeah. balls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dribblings and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So you like shooting. Do you like uh uh pilots and stuff or driving a plane or something? No. Airplane? No? no. I like race. Race. Car racing. Oh, car racing. Yeah. Man, you look like a tough guy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, school number 47. Let's get on with round three, starting with the Iberry team. The real taste of wild berries. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. All righty. First question. Given the following two statements, all basketball players have stamina. Mike is a basketball player. Angerton doesn't like him, I guess. <laughs> what logical conclusion, if any, can be arrived at? A. Mike does not play basketball. B. Mike has stamina. Or C. Mike has no stamina. B. Mike has stamina. Of course, man. Look at that athletic girl. Good answer. Okay. Which continent is home to the Siberian tiger? A. South America. B. Africa. Or C. Asia. C. Asia. That is correct. Feeling refreshed. <laughs> Give the common name for the large brown mammal that once roamed North American plains by the millions and whose scientific name is bison. Bison. <laughs> A. Buffalo. B. Horse. Or C. Kogar. A. Buffalo. Yeah, of course. Right. Bison. Do you know that? Okay, I'm not, <laughs> let's get on with the next question. In order to travel between countries, a person must possess a legal document called a passport or visa. A, false or B, true? B, true. Of course it is true, right? You are very close with the bonus question again. Last question. It's a math one. If 45% of the 11th grade class plays rugby, and there are 60 11th graders. How many students play rugby? A, 42, B, 30, C, 27. C, 27. That is correct, good job, man. <laughs> We're clapping. Okay, you guys are doing a really good job. Okay, so it's time for a clean sweep for school number 47. All right, clean sweep question. In this kind of symbiotic relationship, both organisms benefit. Identify this type of helpful existence. A, parasitism, or B, mutualism, C, legalism. B, mutualism. Ah, mutualism, that is correct, good job. Okay, we'll move on to School number 28. Girls, are you girls ready? Yes, okay. I'm feeling excited for you girls this time. I got a feeling that you guys are gonna get the bonus question. <laughs> All right, here he goes, first question. What unit approximately equal to 1.15 miles per hour is used to measure the speed of wind and of ships? A, knots, B, bearings, C hertz. Correct answer is C. A knots it was. Second question. Name the body of water in the western hemisphere bounded by Mexico and Central America. The greater Antilles, the lesser Antilles, and South America. A is it Caribbean Sea? B Adriatic Sea or C? Gulf of Aden. A. Caribbean Sea. Good job. Okay. Third question. What type of plant attaches itself to another plant for its nourishment and causes harm to its host? A. Rhizome. B. Parasite. C. Brack. Correct answer is C. I'm sorry, it's a parasite. It causes harm 
to each other causes harm, right? It's a parasite. Okay. True or false question? Question number four. Between two nerve cells or neurons in the brain is a small space called a synapse or through which messages must cross. A false or B true? B true. That is correct. Okay, good job. Last question for you girls. Find the sum of the rational numbers minus 5.4, minus 3.25, and 1.9. Is it A, B, or C? Correct answer is B. Yes, B, minus 6.75. Okay, congratulations, girls. You guys are doing a good job. Okay. So now it's time for round of spotlight for the third team, right? <laughs> uh, please grab your microphone and speak to me. I'm feeling kind of lonely right here, okay? So I'm going to pick a person from your team and that person will answer my question, all right? And then we will end round three, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so round three for school number 58, right? First question. If you were visiting Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty on the North American continent, what major United States city would you be in? A, San Francisco, California, B, Denver, Colorado, or C, New York City, New C. York? C. C, New York City, yes. Good job. Second question. This famous white marble tomb was built by a prince to please his wife. Identify this wonder of the world located in Agra, India. See, touch my heart. Man, okay. <laughs> Good. Good job. In 1989, this European structure was removed allowing free passage for those whose lives had been restricted by it since 1961. Give the name of this wall. A. Great Wall, B. Lennon Wall, or C. C Berlin Wall. C. Berlin Wall. Good job, man. Okay. You guys are doing awesome. True or false question. The city of Memphis was the first to serve as the capital of ancient Egypt. A, true or B, false? B. Oh man, this time it was incorrect. It was true. Last question. If Annabelle scored 22 out of 25 questions correct on her language arts exam, what percent did she score correct? A, 0.1, B, 0.88, C, 0.12. B. 0 0.88, of course, right? Man, 22 out of 25, that's cool. Okay, good job. Now again, another question for you guys. A random spotlight question. I'll ask from one of you guys. I'm not gonna say it yet, but I'm gonna. Osanku. <laughs> right. Random spotlight question from Olaku. Here it goes. How many chemicals make up a DNA chain? A3, B2, C4. A. I'm sorry, it was C4. That is the end of round three, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you after the break. And after the break, we will get on with 60 seconds question time. Our show is powered by iBerry, the real taste of Wild berries. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back to Master English TV Olympian, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost at the end of the show. 60 seconds question time. And the scores we have right here is the first team, school number 28 with 150 points, school number 47 with 280 points, and school number 58 with 240 points. All right, so, okay. 
So this is a pretty hard part. Uh, the team who's leading the game can lose the game, <laughs> the 60 seconds question time, or the team who's losing the game can win the game, right? Because 60 second question time takes away your points and they give out some points. Very dangerous. All right. Okay, here he goes. I'll give the topic and the directions. It's about social studies terms. Directions. From the given description, identify each term, place, or person from the field of social studies. The first letter of each correct answer is given. Just like last time, right? The direction is very easy and simple, like the last time. Okay, here he goes. First question. A native or inhabitant of India, especially northern India, H. Hindi. Yes, that is correct. Next question. Adjective that describes land which can be farmed and will produce a healthy crop, A. Next question. Body of land that extends into an ocean. Pacific. Okay. Pacific. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Peninsula, that was. One who leaves his own country to travel to another to live. Next question. Type of economy that trades services for goods or services rather than exchanging money for goods or services. B. Business. Barter was. The general weather patterns of a region. C. No one? That is the end of our show. 60 seconds question time. Okay, so the first team has 150 points. Second team has 280 points. And the green team has 230 points. And this is obvious. The winner for today's show is school number 47. I am proud of you guys. In the beginning of the show, I told you guys I'm expecting a lot, and you didn't let me down. Thank you very much. You guys did a good job. Thank you very much for the other two teams. You did a great job. I like your smiles. I like the way you talk and everything that you have given to me. <laughs> okay, so our show is powered by Ministry of Education and iBerry, the real taste of wild berries, and Fanta, okay? So at the end of the show, as usual, we give out a small presence from our sponsors, Fanta and iBerry. Please enjoy. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. <laughs>